In the last class, we were discussing about selecting cluster rec representatives. One of the methods that we discussed was maximally linked document. And today we are going to discuss about some other views for finding cluster rec representatives. Now we need to discuss about the method of finding centroid. We all know that centroid of a cluster is its center of gravity. So this method averages the descriptions of the members of the cluster. The method in which one calculates the centroid or the center of gravity of the cluster. So here we are using D1 to Dn. These are our documents in the cluster. And each Di is represented by a numerical vector D1, D2 up to Dt. Then the centroid C of the cluster is given by this equation. Here the C is, the centroid C can be calculated by 1 by n sigma i equal to 1 to n di divided by the Euclidean norm of di. Here this Euclidean norm can be calculated by root of d1 square plus d2 square plus dash 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 plus dt square. Hope it is clear. Here 1 to t. These are the index terms or the words present in each document. D1 means the first term, D2 means second term and Dt means its teeth term. Hope it is clear. In this way we will be finding this value for each and every document and we will be summing it up by using that sigma. Then you will be getting the centroid. Then another way is by using binary representations or binary vectors of, our, of the documents. Here more often we will be looking the documents as binary vectors or equivalently some set of keywords. Here DA be a binary vector such that a 1 in J position indicates the presence of the J keyword in the document and 0 indicates the contrary that is the absence of a particular keyword. The cluster representative is now derived from the sum vector it's it is sigma i equal to 1 to n di. Remember here n is the number of documents in the cluster. So we will be what we will do is we will be taking C, C is our cluster representative as C1 to Ct and Dij is the jth component of the binary vector Di. Then there will be two methods for finding the cluster representative. Here the Cj is, that is we will be putting Cj as 1 if sigma i equal to 1, I equal to, 1 to n Dij is greater than 1 and it will be 0 otherwise. Here what we do is C is the cluster representative which contains the T terms like all the documents. Then Dij is the jth component of the binary vector Di. We are taking the jth component of all the documents in this particular equation Cj is the jth component of the cluster representative and here dij means we will be taking the jth component of all the documents and summing it up by using that sigma. If it is greater than 1 we set cj as 1 that means jth component of the cluster representative. Jth component corresponding to what an index term or a keyword that the keyword is present in more than one document. That is, we are summing it up. If it is greater than one, that means that keyword is present in more than one document because it is binary. Then, if it is present in more than one document, we will be setting the corresponding component in cluster representative as one. So, the cluster representative is one, that means that particular keyword is present in more than one document. Here the threshold is 1. In 
the ne next equation that is another method for finding the cluster representative here we put 1 if sigma i equal to 1 to n dag is greater than log 2n here we will be taking the threshold as log 2n and 0 otherwise here log 2n we will be normalizing the size n hope it is clear so we will be finally we will be getting a cluster representative as a binary vector this binary vector contains ones and zeros that one means in that position that particular keyword is present in at least more than two documents in the first method the second method is threshold is log to n hope it is clear in both cases the intuition is that keywords occurring only once in the cluster should be ignored if it is the presence of that keyword is only in only one document we will be ignoring that particular keyword in the second case that is in that log to n case we will also normalize out the size n of the cluster both these methods for representation are effective when we used in conjunction with when we use these methods in conjunction with appropriate search strategies obviously there are some variations on obtaining cluster representatives but as in the case of association measures it seems unlikely that retrieval effectiveness will change very much by varying the cluster representatives this cluster representatives are playing a pivot role in the retrieval effectiveness it will surely affect if we change the cluster representatives it is more likely that the way the data in the cluster representative is used by the search strategy will have a larger effect there is a direct relationship between the search strategy and the cluster representatives hope it is clear okay so there is another theoretical way of looking at the construction of cluster representatives and that is through the notion of a proximal predictions of a cluster so here we are having some documents di in a cluster they are binary vectors then a binary cluster representative for this cluster is a predictor here we will be viewing all the components of that cluster representatives as predictors that is it is a predictor in the sense that each component ci predicts that the most likely value of that attribute in the member documents we will be predicting the most likely value of that attribute in the member documents it is maximal if its correct predictions are as numerous as possible hope it is clear so if we assume that each member of a cluster of documents d1 to dn is equally likely we will be we will be considering all the members d1 to dn are equally likely then the expected total number of incorrect predicted properties we will be finding the incorrect predicted properties this should be minimized here the predicted incorrect properties means they are the expected total number of mismatches between cluster representatives and the member documents since everything is binary that is incorrect predicted properties means expected total number of mismatches between the cluster representative and the member documents it can be found by using this formula that is sigma i equal to 1 to n sigma j equal to 1 to t d i j that is the components of all the documents minus c j that is our cluster representative the whole square then this equation can be re rewritten as sigma i equal to 1 to n sigma j equal to 1 to t d i j minus d j the whole square plus n into sigma j equal to 1 to t d i j minus c j where this d j is 1 by n 
sigma i equal to n di dij. Hope it is clear. So this is the equation for finding the incorrect predicted properties or the mismatches between the cluster representative and the member documents. These values should be minimized. So this expression should be minimized. Thus maximizing the number of correct predictions. We should maximize the correct predictions. Where c equal to c1 to ct is chosen in such a way that j sigma j equal to 1 to t dij minus cj square. It should be minimum. So we need to find some ways how can you minimize this particular quantity. So this can be assured by using cj equal to 1 if dj greater than half 0 otherwise. This means we are making cj as 1 if a particular keyword is present in more than half of the documents. A keyword should be present in more than half of the keywords. In this way we can minimize the particular quantity. So in other words the keyword will be assigned to, the, to a cluster representative it, it, if it occurs in more than half of the member documents. Hope it is clear. So this treats errors of prediction caused by absence or presence of keywords on an equal basis. The errors may be happening. There are two, two scenarios. The errors may be or the prediction caused by the absence of a keyword or the prediction caused by the presence of a keyword. There will be two situations. A prediction can be, can be wrong. Okay. Here there is a person, Croft, he has shown that it is more reasonable to differentiate the two types of errors in IR applications. That is errors due to absence of a keyword, errors due to the presence of a keyword. He showed that to predict falsely zero is more costly than to predict for falsely a one. Under this assumption, the value of half, that is half the number of documents, we already discussed about that, keywords should be present in at least half of the documents. It should be replaced by a constant less than half, its exact value being related to the relative importance attached to the two types of prediction errors. Also, the main reason for constructing these cluster representatives is to lead a search strategy to relevant documents. It should be clear that that can be used to guide a search to documents meeting some conditions on the matching function. For example, we may want to retrieve all documents DI which match Q better than T. Here, all the documents should be retrieved where M, D, M, Q, D, A should be greater than T. T is the threshold. One major objection to most work on cluster representatives is that it treats the distribution of keywords in clusters are independent. This is not very realistic. We will be, we will be collecting the documents and we will be selecting the cluster representatives on an assumption that all the keywords are independent. But it is not true for all the cases. The keywords may be related to each other. That particular relation is not We'll be taking, we won't be taking that particular relation for finding the cluster representatives. Then cluster methods which proceed directly from object descriptions to the classification without first computing the intermediate dissimilarity coefficient, then we will need to make a choice of cluster representative initially. These cluster representatives are then improved as the algorithm adjusting the cluster according to some objective function steps through this steps through its iterations we will be selecting arbitrarily one cluster representatives in some methods and we will be revamping that particular cluster representative selection by using some algorithms or on each and every iterations hope it is clear